Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Oliver and today we're going to be pouring the Rosetta. So, when pouring the Rosetta, you're going to need a few fundamental things. These are an espresso, you're going to need a cup. Um, we have two different size cups here. Um, we just recommend having a wider cup. Uh, it's going to allow you to pour a lot easier. And then you're going to need a jug. Um, I have two different jugs here. Um, I have a small and a large jug. Um, I find it easier to pour from a larger jug, so I steam in a small jug and transfer it. Uh, you just get the same texture all the way through, and it allows for an easy pour. Most cafes, you're gonna see the stainless steel jugs. Uh, they have a curve uh, point, which is really good for your hearts and your tulips, but you can upgrade to the Jibby Little jugs, which have a fine point, which are really good for intricate details like your rosettas and your swans. Um, if you want to pick one of these up, you can. There will be a link in our description below. All right, so when practicing pouring, uh, the best way to do it is using water. Um, this way, you're not wasting lots of milk and a lot of coffee, because you don't want to waste coffee. Now, you want to pour on a 45 degree angle. You're going to start higher up and pouring to the center, and then you're going to mix in until you get to three quarters full. You're going to stop. And you're going to bring your pitcher as close as you can to the cup and the crema. And you're going to pour in and you're going to practice wiggling. Now we're just going to practice wiggling out uh, the wiggling motion until we get a cup full. Bring it up and pull through. And now the good thing about this is you can just keep practicing until you feel really comfortable with that wiggling motion because that's the motion you're going to need to practice when pouring the rosetta. And then when you get to the top, pull up and pull through. Now once you get yourself feeling pretty comfortable, the next way to practice is with a bit of soap and water. Texture your milk and you'll be surprised how close it is to actually getting to milk. Now we're going to actually practice with the pour. Um, so we've got our steamed milks ready and our espresso. We're gonna pour on a 45 degree angle and you're gonna pour from a higher distance. Now you're gonna mix in until you get to three quarters full, stop, and you're gonna bring your pitcher as close as you can, to, and we're gonna wiggle, and we're gonna pull back higher and pull through. And that is the Rosetta. Now, these are some of the most common mistakes that we see uh, when pouring a Rosetta. Now, the most common mistake we see is milk texture. Now, over textured milk is gonna just break when you try to pour it. Whereas if you have it too thin, uh, it's just gonna wash out and it's not gonna come through and you're not gonna get a clean design. Um, we have a full milk texturing series, um, which is gonna be linked in our description below. Now, another common mistake we see is pouring too soon or pouring too late. Um, the effects of pouring too soon will just, your milk will just bleed out and it won't be a very, symmetrical or clean pattern. Um, whereas if you're pouring too late, you're just gonna have a lot of coffee or crema all the way up to the top and you're not gonna see any pattern come out at all. Um, now, talking about control. Uh, the control you need to have when pouring is a lot to comes with timing as well. When it, knowing when to pour and when to stop and when to pull through. So, like we said earlier in the video, uh, practice is key. So just grab some milk and some chocolate powder um, and you can literally just pour into your chocolate powder, practice your pattern and then pour it all back in, put a bit more chocolate powder and you can go again and again and again. You can probably do about 10 takes of this before your milk starts to get a bit too thin. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, a subscribe, and most importantly, turn the notification bell on. Now, when you turn the notification bell on, it's gonna notify you when we're posting. So we will be posting every Wednesday, um, and we're gonna be doing everything from latte art to how to roast, or all those kind of videos as well. They'll all be linked in our description, and if you're interested in helping us out, we have a full range of merchandise. So this is the black on rose gold. And this is the back.